Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V Diamond in the Rough and uh, oh, long, long, long time no see. Um, I think my last video was back in November for a very late July box, I think it was. Um, Charcoal Expressions box. So that's been a while. So where have I been? Hang on, I'll just turn this light on. Where have I been? Missing in action. Combination of things happening. And even as we speak now, I am on some pretty good painkillers. Okay, so before we start working on this little beauty, miss you so much, so very appropriate. I didn't kit this one up, well, because I, I came in bags, being squares, diamond shop, do it in bags. Um, so... I wasn't recording at the time, so I didn't worry about kitting it up and putting it into anything fancy. And hey, back to basics. Um, so a bit about family, what's going on, and I shall start this one. I, um, I've probably got one more row, just a tad bigger than this one, left to go. So what am I going to work on first? I might go with... I might go with the C's first, which... 158. I'll put my box around the right way. Um, so my method for boxes is I have some bells that work between um, 5, so 10 it be it between each number, so they're the ones, twos, threes, fours, well, nines, there's a few more in between. Yeah. Working with the C's first, I'll go back to that, which is 158. You can see how much I have done. This bag was chock as full. So this is squares, what size? Ah. Uh, 60 by 78 and yeah I've got probably about 60 to go go um, down below <clears throat> have I upgraded any of my tools yes I have which you're going to see very shortly I have misplaced my tweezers my favorite tweezers um, which I've only just discovered that they have been misplaced they're not in their usual spot so somebody's been in the craft room um, but what I have went what I did go to is I found the metal pens which um, yeah I am enjoying working with them took a little bit of you getting used to and I have been using the multi-placer. Um, I don't know whether I'll change the angle that or not. Stand by a second. I have one more light, not all. Hopefully that makes a bit of a difference. Okie dokie. Actually, I'm going to go to this one. One of the things I did do is I learnt to put wax in the end to stop spilling on these ones, but I also, I'll just empty this out to show you. Um, what I did do is this is, um, what do they call it, the pop top or the sit the phone stands, it put on phone stands. I have gone to that. And I find that is very handy for usage as well. Um, instead of actually having it on the tray. Okay. 
Um, what have I got? I've got my three loaded and I've got my, I'm about to have my four loaded. And excuse me, this is going to be messy the way I'm working at the moment. Okay, let's. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, I am. There we go, first lock laid down for a while. I am not in the craft room. For those of you that have watched me right from the beginning, I am back in the office. And very good reason for being back in the office. My son moved back, which you know some of you are aware of. And he is still studying. And what I mean by still studying, he graduated his bachelor, uh, bachelor of business or economics, something like that. Um, however, he didn't get um, any of the positions he was chasing. That's only one, um, which was unfortunate. Uh, part of his internship, that we, his little intern that he had to do for his degree, he ended up actually doing time working at um, an well an employment agency for ah, for IT. I can't do this. My hands are too unstable. I'll go back to single placing. Um, yeah, so he is back studying so he's instead of being out here in the office section um, I moved out of the craft room and gave him the craft room so that he could work without work in peace and we can live our life in some sort of peace um, because when he was out here um, he does a lot of video calls and stuff, but yeah, well, he went to Greenlock. Uh, mm, sh should miss that one out. He went to a recruitment company, and you know he's watching these guys with recruitment companies, and he's seeing stuff that they're hiring for, and some of it is what he already knows, but. There is also stuff that he knows personally and he doesn't have any qualifications in it. So basically he is getting those qualifications so that he looks better on paper. Um, yeah. So yeah, he's forked out more money to do another course and it's 12 week course. Um, I think his, um, I don't even think he's halfway through. Hang on, what's today? March. Oh, he might be about halfway through. And then once he finishes that, he is off to the other side of the uh, country. He's off to, um... Queensland and oh, that's his plan and his girlfriend is in Queensland now his, his girlfriend is also studying but she's doing veterinary so um, yeah at the moment I'm trying to do everything I can for my boy because well for, not for my boy but for my baby being the youngest one um, before he goes which has its moments <laughs> severely has its moments but yeah he mm, yeah he left home and now he's come back and he's gotten used to uh, mum doing quite a lot of stuff um, 
did turn around and say to him, if I'm on night shift, my first shift back, when the night after finishing night shift, he needs to cook dinner because then it just takes that one pressure off of me. Um, but yeah, that hasn't always happened. <laughs> Interesting times, which, you know, Nathan's not impressed with. Trying to keep the uh, household happy when it comes to that can be a little bit interesting. Okay, so that's that's the baby. That's my young one. My grandson, my grandbaby, was... Um, he's 10 months old now. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's 10 months old now. Um, family came up from Esperance and joined me for, well, joined us for Christmas. Uh, they were up here for two weeks. And it was absolutely gorgeous time to have with them. I will admit having another family in the house um, with a totally different routine to us, care has proved rather interesting. I've got a loose bit of wax there. Eh? Yeah, has proved a little bit, was a little bit interesting. Um, but we adapted, we made it through. So she is pregnant with baby number two. Um, that's another little bit of good news there. Due in April, um, cabbing in the beginning of April. Um, yeah. uh, they were going to be up here in Perth for her to have bub up here. I won't go into the details, but there was reasons why. Um, but now, because West Australian borders are now opened up, hang on a sec, this is driving me nuts. Okay, back I am. Tweezers. Much better. Let my eyesight refocus again. Okay, so... Um, yeah, for reasons they were going to have Bub up here. However, now that they've opened the borders up, we are now getting COVID cases. So, you know, we were up until Christmas, we were basically COVID free. The only people with COVID was travellers, people coming into the state who were quarantining. Um, so now our cases have risen to basically 2,000 a day um, and I know for the guys in US it might not you know it doesn't seem much um, but we went from you know being told oh you've got where's one case in the state and it's in quarantine to now you know 2,000 in the state and none are in quarantine or they're all just, you know, staying at home or whatever. Um, we've got about 20 people in hospital and none on ICU. So I think we've only got 11 recorded deaths in the last two, three, two years or whatever. Maybe 12. Not a stat I like to watch. Um, so for a state that's been so isolated to prevent COVID coming in with our borders now open. International travel into Australia is, you know, back on the cards and that back happening. Um, there's restrictions being put on hospitals and with them coming, they were going to come up here um, and then they open the borders and the hospital's like, um, limited time for the dad to come in and she had a horrible birth the first time so 
they've decided to stay down in Esperance where Esperance won't put those restrictions on them. It's not as big a hospital. Um, so that he can be there, you know, as mu much as possible. Um, country towns are a lot more lax. Uh, so, yeah, I've booked leave and I'll be going down to Esperance towards the end of April. So that's my two children. Um, pet wise, I think that's the thing that got me the most. And there we go. Pet wise, we um, both got very sick. So there's no bow, there's no pitter patter of, toe, of toes, you know. None of him haven't coming up and going, me going, how you doing? What are you up to? None of him getting excited when I open up the front door to pick up a package. No more walking in the park. Yeah. So yeah, that was hard. Um, and less than a week after that, we went on our trip. Um, we were gone for about four weeks. It's a good trip. Um, an example of how good the trip was. Week three into the trip, we separated with the family we were travelling with. Uh, let's just say one of those people was an absolute struggle to be with. And Nathan and I don't have kids that we have to worry about. Um, and there, we had, there was one child, um, and as selfish as selfish can be, and I can't say much about the mother, we'll leave that one alone. Uh, I will say though, that couple are now going through a very messy divorce. Um, yeah. I was expecting that Nathan and I would have a massive struggle. We had our hard times on the road. When you actually go from a situation when we do, I do shift work, so there's, you know, I'll come, I'll go to work when he's at work, and I'll come home and he's getting out of bed to go to work. You know, it's we didn't spend that much time together. I think now we spend more. We worked out we need to spend more. But it was a, um, you know, we ended up, you know, 24-7 together. The tours we did, we did together. We were in the car together the whole time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Proved to be fun. It, it was actually really good. I think it actually... There was points where it was a struggle, but I also think it made us go become closer, which is a good thing. Not the line, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I did um, did a lot of recording initially of our trip. Uh, however, while we were halfway through our trip, something happened. I won't go into it, but something happened, and I lost all my data so all my photos were gone from the trip but it also lost all my youtube drive start data so all the videos that i'd done all the editing all the saved settings that i had that were saved on that uh, were on that hard drive and i lost all of that so um, you know, that was a struggle to actually try to diamond paint. Um, I think I did sell, not diamond paint, do YouTube. I did some things that were live um, because I just, just YouTube video editing just wasn't as enjoyable. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of the big ones. Um, I have I have some packages to send out. So my last YouTube 
that I did was alive. I still have the packages just sitting. They, um, they even have the declarations filled out. You know, all I need to do is go to the post office and, and, and do that. So the ladies that are waiting and you're listening to this and you still, well, if you still still listen to me, still hanging around, I still have them. I just, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't, just don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I lost the motivation to record because I lost so much data, so much data. And, you know, when you, the other side of it, when you stop diamond painting, well, not stop diamond painting, when you stop doing YouTube videos for a while, coming back it's like I feel guilty because I haven't done it so it's like you know I feel guilty that I haven't done it so um, coming back was just so hard to do because I felt so bad that I left the, well not left the channel but you know disappeared off the channel um, yeah so hopefully you guys will forgive me for disappearing. Um, so pet-wise, we do have pets. I will say pets, but they're all contained in 180 litres of water. Hey Google, convert 180, 180 litres. No, stop. That's not what I finished to say. Hey Google, convert 100 and le 180 litres to... Oh, stop. I don't know, but I found these results on search. <sighs> okay Google, convert 180 litres to gallons. I don't want milliliters, gallons. Okay, 47. <laughs> Finally, she got me. Was I that hard to understand? I hope I'm making sense here. Um, so, yeah. Okay, Google, stop. Yeah. So, there we go. Fish tank. We've had set up trying to set that up takes um, a lot of fun between cycling and we didn't cycle it for long enough and we lost fish and oh, I've now got snails where not the good magical snails that are good for the tank I've got snails that are breeding and I'm trying to get rid of them and yeah um, and that's another you know, commitment that's once a week is water changes so you know that's that's at least something that I've committed to doing I will admit that I was, there has been a couple of weeks where I haven't done the water change but the fish are surviving so that's our fish um, Nathan has found one of his customers has a beautiful dog oops uh, and it's a bulldog. I don't know whether it's an Australian bulldog. It's not a British bulldog. Um, but that was supposed to be having... He was being put over another dog, a female dog. I won't use that word. We all use it anyway. Um and they were breeding so uh, the guy said you know Nathan can have a look at the pups and if we're interested it's like two and a half grand for a pup uh, which we are very interested in um so yeah what I will do is right here I'm going to insert some quick videos that I made that are on a different channel that I made up just for my, our travels. Um, so I'll just 
slide that in here so you can check it out.
so they're only like quick little minute and a half videos so um, hopefully you like that they're just little bits um, I do have the website that I was running I still haven't I mean I haven't completed a lot um, I think I think I've got less than a week's worth of the video footage edited along along with them um, excuse me excuse me a yeah um along with the yeah, YouTube chain page they're not the YouTube page the website is updated as far as the videos have been done get off um so yeah i got some of that done um had to do a lot of work to get the images back so i was able to get some individual images back none of them were in date order so it's like i've got to go through each video and try and sort out where they were um yeah lots of fun lots of fun okay so that's that side of it nathan's just his usual self plodding along nothing changes with nathan um i'm not sure if you're aware he brought a boat so every opportunity he gets he takes that boat out um which is really fantastic because you know you see some people buy a boat and it just sits in the driveway well this goes every weekend he can he'll take it out unless of course we're going camping and it nearly did go with us the last time we went camping and yeah could have come in handy if we actually had taken so that's quite interesting um now on to me and my life what's going on with me so one of the things i'm doing is um my back's getting better I was finding I got to a point where I couldn't sit for any longer than half an hour which then you know affects being able to craft you can't you know I worked hard to train that back to sit for so long uh, but now I can't I was seeing a chiropractor every three days just for her to work on my lower back um, I'm now at a point where it's she it's every four weeks now so that's good resolution I'm able to diamond paint um, yeah so that's a good thing to have back back in my life okay now do some filming um, what else uh, when my <laughs> My son, my oldest boy, you know, didn't have his driver's license. Um, when I chatted to him one day about, you know, when are they going to have baby number two? Not putting any pressure on them. And it's like, oh, are you going to have? Not when. It's like, are you going to have? Um, he turned around and said, well, mum, she said that we have to have a certain amount of money in the bank. Because, you know, going on maternity leave, as a casual she doesn't get any payments um, so she said yeah certain amount of money so that they're covered while she's on on break because he's the house husband and he has to have his driver's license so oops at 27 years of age he didn't have a driver's 26 years of age he didn't have a driver's license so he tried to get driver's license and he was trying to get it in a manual um, and then somebody just turned around and said look seriously you need your driver's license get an automatic license and if you want a manual down the track at least you've got your license um, yeah so he now has his automatic license and he turns around, he rings me up to say, Mum, I've got my licence. I say, 
Oh yeah, beautiful, great, fantastic, congratulations. You guys, you know, we've got a, there's not much in the range of cars to buy here in Esperance. I want to come up to Esperance and buy a car. Um, and then it's like, and for a car, type of car that we want to get that's safe for Bub, um, we want to borrow some money off you. So, you know, I I managed to sort out the money side of things and then turned around and said to him, well, Nathan actually had said to me when I was talking to it, they were on a reliable car. Nathan said, well, why don't you do your car? And I turned around and said, well, I've still got about 10 grand owing on it. You know, it's still, you know, under finance. Um, I'd knocked off... I had two other loans with the um, way that I was budgeting and finance, um, which made a huge difference. You know, I'd knocked off two loans, so um, all I had was my car loan, which I was knocking off pretty quickly. But, yeah, he made the suggestion of that. And so I turned around and said to the kids, well, you know, how much have you got to pay for a car? And he said, oh, we've got about 10000 And I turned around and said, well, how about you come up to Perth, you look at cars. If you like something, you get it. If not, you've got the choice of my car. I've got about ten grand owing on it. How about you, know, you pay that out? and um, and then the car can be yours and you don't need to borrow from us and you, you know, you've brought a car and I mean my car was I think six years old um, and only like 70,000 kilometres on the clock hey Google convert 70,000 kilometres to miles. 70, <sighs> kilometers Stop. To hey Google, convert 7,000 kilometres to miles. Miles. Far out. Yeah, I'll let you guys convert that one because Google's just not understanding me where I'm hoping that you guys are. Uh -huh. But for the age of my car and the kilometres on the clock, it was a really good deal. And, you know, he looked at cars and, yeah, no. Nah, he was quite happy with going with my car. So, you know, he ended up in a situation where if I lent him $10,000, he may have gotten a car that was a lemon. And whereas my car... He knows it's not a lemon um, looked after one <laughs> as I said oh it's only one old lady driver for you you know that um, and no debt which you know that was one of the great things is I'd rather they didn't have a debt and I'd rather they didn't owe me money because borrowing money from family I, I just disagree with um, I'm never happy about it because it can cause family issues. Uh, so, so yeah, um, and in that process, I was going to have to get a new car. So, um, my plan was brand new car because I'm that type of person. I like brand new cars, and I went searching for cars. Um, and I mean, I've been wanting a Jeep for last five years you know I, when I got the car that I had I would have preferred to have gotten a Jeep but um, yeah Nathan was in disagreement with me and you know I still I still had Dion at home and yeah so anyway when it came to this time it was I was looking at range of cars I test drove a 
Mustang convertible, V8 Mustang convertible. Oh god, that was nice. Um, but you know, it was like, no, that's too. I couldn't validate having something with such high power. Nathan would have blocked me, gotten it. I dare say he would have been driving it everywhere, and I'd be driving his four-wheel drive. Um, and he's like still going, no, nah, don't get a Jeep, don't get a Jeep. And then so I turned around and said, well, if I'm not getting a Jeep, I might as well get one of these hybrid electric cars. Um, you know, that that's probably the smartest thing to do. And Paddy was up here at the time. And when I said it to Nathan, I had both car. We were in my car and we had both boys in the car as well. And he goes, I'd rather you got a Jeep than one of those hybrids. So, <laughs> next day, I ordered my Jeep. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I didn't even test drive the Jeep. <laughs> Mine. I've done that before. So, meh. Um, and when I drove it out of the car yard, brand new... I knew I'd done the right thing. Uh, even today, when I take the drive, car for a drive, when I go out, there is always a smile on my face. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be in that car. So yeah, I brought a Jeep. Um, I removed the top every opportunity I get. And being summer here, when we've had some stinking hot days, I've had to leave the lid on because it was just nah, too hot. Um, but I think I took the top off my Jeep about five days ago and the top's still off. Alright, so that's pets, Nathan, the boys, um, my family of course, getting older. Um, yeah, so things happening there. What happens when you get old? Yeah, we're just waiting I suppose for some in some situation um oops I've got the button in the wrong spot normally it takes a lot of pressure um yeah covered a little bit about the YouTube and why I left my back and my situation at the moment which you're probably seeing a bit of shaking in my hands um, my voice is not its usual self. Uh, I am in the process of some serious dental work. Um, and yesterday I went in, I've got temporary implants in. Um, for those of you that have seen my face on camera, I'm very conscious of the fact that I've got one of my not my very front tooth, but I've got a tooth missing and I'm very conscious of it. Um, so, you know, I've got metal implants in my mouth and now I've got some temporary veneers while I get used to them um, and they make the proper teeth and while they make the proper teeth. Um, but yeah, yesterday was... They were putting those temporary teeth in to make sure they were good, there wasn't any more adjustments happening. And I had a panic attack halfway through the process. So it was okay, because I mean, I'm shocking at dentists. I, I shake like a leaf when I go to dentist. Um, so yeah, I ended up having a panic attack. So I they stopped and went, right, we're going to sedate you. So they knocked me out to do the, to finish it off. And then the dentist that was working on me, um, I think he was feeling pressured uh, because, you know, my point went longer than needed and um, he saw other patients while I was being sedated. Um, but when he went to put screw in some teeth at my back, um, he actually 
split the screw that's screwed into my jaw. Uh, and in that situation, the owner, the dentist, the surgeon for, for the place um, ended up having to step in and to fix it. Now, most of this I'm away, I'm, I'm out to it, um, thankfully. But I know when I was coming to that there was an issue and yeah. So I now have some teeth in and I have a very sore jaw when I had to replace the implant. And so I'm on painkillers and at the moment I'm feeling shocking. I'll be back in a sec. All right, let's continue on. Um, yes, yeah, so I am absolutely, hang on. I'm absolutely struggling with this dental work. Um, talking to my son about going back when I have to go back, which will be three months. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> and I was talking to about that, and I had a panic attack just talking about it. So. Um, I'm a bit of a mess, so my shaking hands are actually because I'm a mess with the dental work. Um, no, I don't have Parkinson's, it is because I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm quite sure there's quite a few that actually understand the uh, way I feel. Um, so yeah. What's going on the craft side of things is probably what you most like to hear. I have done some, obviously not a lot. <laughs> um, I have started uh, paint by numbers, which um, I'm not talking through. I have record. I'm recording. I'll quickly show it to you. I'm going to get this one in. I will quickly show it to you. <coughs> so that. It is <coughs> another Jeremiah Morelli from Dime Moon Shop. And it is the Art by Chart. Um, I can't show you much more because of the height of the camera. But, yeah, there's the bits I haven't painted. Um, but when you hold back where I have, it looks pretty cool. When you're painting that in close up, it's really um, hard to see that you're getting anything and then I look up on the camera and I see what I'm doing. Um, I found another wombat hole. Now, I'm not doing cross stitch, but I haven't ironed this yet, but I have been. This is my very first embroidery. Okay, not cross stitch embroidery really. So I have done this one, didn't record it because it was just like, I'll give it a go. Um, I will pop the plastic over here. But what I have done, let's put that away so I don't spill it. What I have done, I have ordered a couple of pieces from this place here in Vietnam. I will drop a link to their chain, to their um, website below. She does some amazing work. I've got two items in this. I've got another one coming, so fingers crossed I enjoy it. Um, I have brought an embroidery stand, which I've put together. Um, I filmed unboxing that, but um, yeah, I don't think that the unboxing probably was too good. Where's that magnet? Oh, who knows where that magnet is now. <coughs> Hang on. There it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start doing embroidery, but I think when I do the embroidery, I won't be doing much talking. So it's probably more that you'll hear me pulling the threads. 
Uh, yeah. So that's where we're at. Um, smart ass. So yeah, I have cancelled my subscriptions to everything. Um, I just wasn't doing it, so I cancelled all my subscriptions, which is probably why I got out of debt so much quicker. Um, oh God, I still can't handle it. Uh, so, no Sophie and Toffee. Uh, no smart ass and sass. I have kept, actually, the charcoal. However, I haven't done much in the way of the charcoal drawings, so charcoal expressions. But I got a real buzz out of doing those. I did one for my son, who was supposed to take back the rest of it. Let's see if I got it. Um, and it was of a door. I've kept it wrapped because uh, I it's, it's meant to go down to him. Um, completed pieces. I don't know if I shared with you the Wisteria Moon I got completed. Uh, it looks stunning and I did order another one, another Josephine wall in squares this time. Yeah, squares. To give the squares a go. Can't even remember what it was that I ordered but meh. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop here. There will be more videos coming out when I can. Um, obviously with my son at home, there is a bit of a change of schedule. He doesn't work. Uh, Tuesdays actually he does work Tuesdays but he doesn't work Thursdays or Saturdays um, he is at home studying so there's no chance of doing anything um, and at night time everybody's at home so yeah it's a it's a um, sporadic work on craft um, because well I'm still at work still working so it's just trying to do something around um, life for everybody so hopefully there's a bit of an update for you what's going on um, with everything my health wise it's getting better um, my back obviously getting better I can sit for longer periods of time now it's going to take a while to train my back to sit like I used to <laughs> oh, that took a lot of work <clears throat> um, yeah so um, I suppose one of the things wishes are appreciated um, from you guys because I know that there'll be people out there that will you know send me their wishes and best best luck and best of health um this is not i'm not after any sympathy um just more an update to say hey guys sorry that i wasn't here um but we all know life happens there's some good stuff that happens in life and there's some icky stuff that you've just got to work through and I don't think the icky stuff is over yet um, yeah, there's other stuff yet to come and uh, who knows who knows how it's going to handle um, I mean my my stepfather is 98 99 now um, with COVID being out in the community I don't think there's any cases in Esperance yet where they are but um, he's only been vaccinated once so he I've got to pack this way um, so he will 
highly likely. Um, COVID will hit them and then that, that, that'll be over for him, I think. Uh, and like my dad in Cairns, he's still not well and there is COVID there and he's triple vaccinated but uh, and very cautious of where they go um, when they go out they do all sorts of precautions because he's already not well but on that note um, I will say thank you for joining me thank you for your patience um, while I've got the camera up I am going to unbox this lovely little box so you'll see how that goes um, soonish but um, yeah